Hi, I'm Judy Vitale with ReadTheStars.com, and this is the weekly Horoscopes at Work forecast for you, April 21st through 27th, 2014. Yes, it is that week, the week that everybody who knows anything about astrology, and many who know nothing about astrology, have been speaking about because we have a very unusual configuration in the sky this week. The planets, Uranus, Pluto, Mars, and Jupiter are all going to be in a situation that causes a lot of tension. They will be uh, what's called in a position called the Grand Cardinal Cross. They're all in the cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, and they are going to stir up a tremendous amount of action, both in our personal lives and globally. Um, do I know what's going to happen globally? People have been asking me. My answer is no. I think that we are in the, in the process of some big changes, and we have to understand that both Uranus and Pluto want change, and Uranus wants change immediately, and Pluto wants it over time and absolutely. So it's sort of eroding at the structure of the way things were, and um, eventually something will be built in its place. But I think that it's very important to have caution and take caution about not ripping things down too quickly before we have anything in mind to build them up with. Okay? So that's my overall view for you. But uh, we do have the Uranus-Pluto square at 2.38 p.m. on Monday afternoon. Will there be some kind of horrible situation right at that moment in time? I doubt it. This is a, a, a long, protracted transit. It's sort of hanging over us, and it's giving you that thing that every time you turn on the news, something else very upsetting is on there. So um, on Tuesday, though, we have Mars square Jupiter. And on a personal level, I would say look out for people who are about to do anything aggressive because they will be emboldened by Jupiter's presence. It's also possible that they'll be inspired to be nice because of Jupiter. But we have to be careful and, again, stay calm. If somebody tries to get one over on you, don't yell and scream back at them. Stop, take a deep breath, and tell them where your boundaries are and why they cannot cross them. And that's what, what we all need to do. By Wednesday, things are really going to get a little bit heated. Um, we have Mars opposite Uranus at 3.09 a.m. This is going to be um, a situation that's going to make everybody really nervous and tense. And um, it's also a time when we tend to be more accident prone. So um, when you're driving, even if you're walking down the street, be extra careful because people are moving before they're thinking. And that's really what's happening here with Mars and Uranus. And um, there will be a lot of thoughtless actions, a lot of things said that people wish they had not said, etc. on Wednesday. Also in the evening, we have Mars square Pluto. And that is a power play. And that isn't in the evening. I keep saying this to myself. It's actually in the morning at 9.49 a.m. So 3.09 a.m. is Mars opposite Uranus. And then it goes right into a square to Pluto at 9.49. People are going to be, you know, doing the power play thing all day. So, you know, just do something if you can that's individual. And as long as you're careful and, um, you know, not uh, cavalier about the way that you're managing your life, you should be all right. Mercury moves into Taurus also at 5.16 a.m. on Wednesday. This will allow people to be slightly more even-minded and, and level-headed um, than they were with Mercury in Aries. On Thursday, the moon slides into Pisces, and boy, are we going to like that because it will give us a chance to just kind of relax and take in everything that happened the first few days of the week. On Friday, um, the Pisces moon will go void, of course, at 4.03 p.m., and we have Venus and Saturn in a trine. This is really good for creative acts. Anything that you're doing that is creative, that needs to be communicated to the world at large, will go well because you'll have the structure that you need in order to communicate it and pass it on to other people. We're also going to have the Sun conjunct Mercury, um, and that takes place at 11.22 p.m. And then on uh, Saturday, we have an Aries moon. So lots of action. Maybe we want to get some outdoor activities started. I think it would be really great for everybody to get all that pent-up energy out. And then on Sunday, we have a void of course moon. So anything that you are doing um, that involves like strict plans, bring a book if you're waiting for a flight or if you're you know, doing anything that's supposed to be scheduled to a moment-to-moment a -moment basis because I believe that, um, that it, there's a possibility that things might change because of the void of course moon. And then we'll have sun in a sextile to Neptune. Really the basic thing that we can do on Sunday, the best thing we can do is to relax and enjoy ourselves and just try to calm down and reassess our lives and make sure that we have a place in our lives for our spiritual endeavors. That's really, as long as you have that to hold on to, anything else that happens really isn't all that important and you don't have to worry all the time, okay? So again, I'm Judy Vitale. You can reach me at judy at readthestars.com. 
You can email me if you like and ask a few questions. You can um, go online and order a uh, private video reading from me. This week I will be in New York City speaking at the New Jersey chapter of um, NCGR, National Council for Geocosmic Research. I'll be addressing a, a small group on a topic of Uranian astrology. But if you're interested in that, contact me and I'll tell you where to meet me. And then also on Monday, um, April 28th, I'll be back in Journey's bookstores, uh, bookstore for readings, okay? So um, again, I wish you all a very good week and keep on reading those stars. Bye-bye.